So my video today is on gears, specifically using FEX gears. And what I'm going to demonstrate to you is pretty much the difference between how to set up gearing for torque or strength versus gearing up for speed. And I can do that using this, this one model. So if I was going for speed, basically the pretenders a motor, right? If I was going for speed, I'd have the motor up here, powering this largest gear right here. It's not going to spin because it takes more than just that to spin it. But, so it would be spinning like this. So this will complete like one rotation and then it'll go down. These are just like idling gears, so they don't really do much. And this is a driving gear. And it would power this gear down here, which is a driven gear. And for every like one rotation this one does, this one would do however many, like three or four. And it'd cause it to go fast. The problem is with that, it's not really like geared for torque, so if you're trying to pick up something heavy, trying to move something heavy, it's not going to work very well. Now, if I was going for torque, I'd put the motor down here, so it'd power the smallest gear. And see how it's easier to turn? It's because it's going from smaller to biggest. So that would give it more torque, and so I could pick up a heavier object, and so that would help, especially if this year's competition on Vex toss-up. If you're going to pick up a robot, you probably want to gear it for torque, not speed. But if you're going to, you know, use a conveyor belt method to pick up a ball, you know, you'd be gearing it for speed. So this is actually what I'm doing. I'm going to be, not exactly the setup, but I'm going to be using the bigger gear attached to the motor. But yeah, that's pretty much how, like, basic just gearing. Gearing, which is very important this year in VEX, especially to, like, propel the balls, pick up objects, and do the conveyor belt, if you're doing that. So...